Number 8. Sam Ballard In 2010, an Australian man developed a severe and debilitating illness after eating a live slug on a deer. 19-year-old avid rugby player Sam Ballard was drinking with several of his friends at a home in Sydney when they spotted the slug crawling on the patio. It was then that one of the teens initiated the deer to ingest the mollusk, which Ballard accepted. In the days that followed, he began complaining of intense pain in his legs, which was initially suspected as multiple sclerosis, by which his father had also been afflicted. Shortly after, Ballard had revealed that he'd eaten the slug. Doctors told his family that he developed a disease involving the parasitic worm Angiostrongylus cantionensis, also known as the rat lungworm. It's typically excreted by rats and then consumed by other animals, infecting them as well. Ballard had inadvertently contracted the infection, but unlike with rats, the parasite doesn't complete its life cycle in humans. Its larvae therefore don't pass through the digestive tract and can end up in the brain, where they can become lodged. Not long after he'd been diagnosed, Ballard slipped into a coma which lasted roughly 420 days. He came out of it a paraplegic and requiring 24-hour care, but friends and family reported that the infection hadn't impaired his mental faculties. In November of 2018, more than eight years since he'd been dared to eat the slug, Ballard succumbed to his illness and passed away at Hornsby Hospital. Number 7. Jonathan Lewis Burgos On January the 10th of 2019, Las Vegas police responded to reports of a shooting in the 200 block of West New York Avenue, where they subsequently found 36-year-old Jonathan Lewis Borgos. The man was in critical condition after being shot in the head. He was pronounced dead roughly 30 minutes later, and an investigation would trace the incident back to the theft of his motorcycle. Burgos, whom his sister reported had a passion for tinkering with motorcycles, had recently learned about his stolen vehicle's whereabouts. The theft had allegedly been carried out by 25-year-old Kayla Byron, a woman with whom he'd frequently clashed in the past, and her associates. Burgos and several companions, including his girlfriend, got in a pickup truck and went to retrieve his stolen property. He was confronted by Byron upon his arrival, and an argument broke out between them. As Burgos was walking his motorcycle towards the pickup truck, Byron allegedly kept a short pump shotgun pointed at him. Those at the scene would later recount that the man who in the past had taken part in amateur mixed martial arts bouts looked frightened. As he got near the truck, Burgos then reportedly turned around and dared Byron to fire. According to a subsequent arrest warrant, his words to her had been along the lines of, if she was going to shoot him, to do it already. Byron then pulled the trigger and pumped around into his head. She fled the scene and spent two weeks on the run before she was arrested on murder charges without incident at a home in the Southeast Valley. Number 6. Anurag Chandra A dare involving a doorbell ditch prank led to the death of three teenagers in Southern California on January the 19th of 2020. The victims had been part of a group of six teens who'd been having a sleepover at a residence in Corona, Riverside County when the dare originated. Shortly after 10 p.m., the oldest of the boys, 18-year-old Sergio Camposano, drove the others to the nearby home of Anurag Chandra, aged 42. One of them then went to the front door and rang the doorbell several times before running back to the idling Toyota Prius, in which Camposano and the others were waiting. The latter then sped off, but Chandra, enraged by the prank, chased after them in his 2019 Infinity Q50. Looking back on the incident, Camposano remembered that he and his friends were terrified as Chandra barreled towards them at high speed and then started nudging their car with his Q50. Chandra ultimately rammed into them, causing the Prius to spin out of control and slam into a tree on the side of the road. Three of the teens, including Camposano, survived with moderate to major injuries from which they recovered to varying degrees in the aftermath. The other three, identified as Daniel Hawkins, Jacob Ivascu, and Drake Ruiz, were killed in the crash. Chandra was arrested a few hours after the accident and subsequently charged with three counts of murder and three counts of attempted murder. As indicated by updates on the matter, his trial date was set for April of 2022. Number 5. Death of Kevin Bennett In the early hours of August the 17th of 2012, three teenage boys were involved in the fatal beating of a homeless man in Liverpool, England. 17-year-old Connor Doran, his younger brother Brandon, and their friend Simon Evans found Kevin Bennett sleeping rough outside a supermarket. The older of the Doran brothers reportedly dared Evans to attack him by allegedly saying, I bet you haven't got it in you to do him in. While Brandon acted as a lookout, 
Evans started kicking the defenseless man repeatedly, inflicting critical injuries. It's unclear if Connor joined him in the attack, but he would later be identified as the leader of the pack. Six days after the senseless beating, which was captured by surveillance cameras, Bennett died in a local hospital. Connor, Brandon and Evans were arrested and ultimately sentenced to minimum terms of 12, 6 and 8 years in prison. Also convicted was Connor and Brandon's mother, 42-year-old Linda. She was jailed for 30 months after being found guilty of perverting the course of public justice by trying to fabricate alibis for her sons. The prosecution would argue that a portion of the responsibility for the killing had rested on Linda for what was described as a total lack of parental guidance, support and upbringing. In October, another son of hers, 23-year-old Ryan, was sentenced to life imprisonment for murder after attacking a stranger with a bottle in a takeaway shop. Number 4. David Dowell Roughly 10 days after he was dared to eat a gecko at a Christmas party in early December of 2018, an Australian man succumbed to a devastating salmonella infection at Brisbane's Mater Hospital. Father of three, David Dowell was described by his friends as a man who would never back down from a challenge. Partygoers would later report seeing him eat the lizard on December the 1st. Within a few days, he became extremely sick, with symptoms that included him being severely bloated and unable to hold down any food. Paramedics were called to his home and initially believed that 34-year-old Dowell had an upset stomach or that his symptoms were the effects of excessive alcohol consumption during the party. Elira, Dowell's partner of 15 years, pleaded with them to take him to the hospital. It was there that doctors diagnosed him with salmonella, which they initially believed he'd contracted from uncooked chicken prior to learning about the gecko ingestion. Salmonella, a foodborne bacteria type, usually results in patients going through days of diarrhea, stomach cramps, and fever. In Dowell's case, however, the infection was much more aggressive. His body became swollen with fluid, particularly in the lungs, stomach, and testicles, which had reportedly grown to the size of grapefruits as he'd begun to rot from the inside out. He passed away while in surgery on December the 11th. In the wake of his death, Dowell's family criticized the hospital for what they believed to have been a lackadaisical approach to the severity of the man's condition, but a coroner determined he'd been provided adequate care. Number 3. Tiernan Danton In the early hours of May the 28th of 2018, an elderly British woman was found trapped and unresponsive at her home in Haysham, Lancashire, which had caught fire. 94-year-old Mary Gregory's screams had alerted her neighbors. First responders extracted her from under a table inside the smoke-filled bungalow and rushed her to the hospital. She died a few days later on June the 1st from what was determined to have been smoke inhalation and pneumonia. An investigation by the county's fire and rescue services established that the most probable cause for the blaze had been a dropped cigarette and a verdict of accidental death was recorded. Within weeks of Gregory's death, her step-grandson, Tiernan Danton, revealed what he referred to as his darkest secret during a game of truth or dare. He told two friends that he'd used the lighter to ignite Gregory's curtains, thereby triggering the fire that ultimately ended her life. He tried to justify the killing as an act of mercy, claiming that he didn't want her to suffer from dementia anymore. His friends, however, believed the story to be a fabrication and didn't report it. Police reopened the investigation in 2019 after Danton again confessed to killing his step-grandmother during a counseling session. He reportedly admitted to having started the fire and told the counselor that others knew about it and could incriminate him. Further evidence connected him to the killing, including drawings of the bungalow's floor plan as well as internet searches made after the fire. They included, I'm a murderer, I'm a monster, and I'm going to hell, and urge to kill again. 21-year-old Danton was eventually sentenced to life in prison with a minimum of 15 years served. Today's topic was requested by Maurice Boyd, BC Vids 9, Jeff Elliott and Jules. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Philip Evans in March of 2016, an Englishman was given a sentence of three years in prison after he'd pleaded guilty to manslaughter following an incident in which he'd killed his friend with a single punch. 25-year-old Patrick Ryan and Philip Evans, aged 42, were drinking at a property in Weddensfield, West Midlands, in October of the previous year. Evans, who was known to become more boisterous when inebriated, dared Ryan to punch him. 
The former boasted that he'd never been knocked out before and presented his chin. Ryan was reluctant to hit the father of one at first, but Evans continued provoking him. He eventually delivered a swinging punch that landed on the left upper side of the other man's neck. Evans reportedly complimented the strike and the pair continued drinking until he collapsed on the floor of his living room. Ryan believed that he'd passed out because of the alcohol and didn't call for an ambulance. He alerted one of Evans' neighbors before heading to his residence, which was a few doors down on the same street. It was there that he was subsequently arrested. A neighbor found Evans but was unable to revive him and called for an ambulance. Unfortunately, there was nothing that paramedics could do for the man as Ryan's punch had caused fatal internal hemorrhage. Number 1. Playground Accident in Bavaria In 2012, a man suffered a fatal accident at a playground in Bavaria, Germany, after daring his friends to use an automobile and spin him on a roundabout. According to police in the Niederwehrbach area, the unnamed 20-year-old had asked three friends to strap him into the carousel with duct tape. They then connected it to a BMW and drove off as quickly as they could, causing the merry-go-round to spin at a dangerous speed. The tape came undone in the process and the man was forcefully flung from the ride. He suffered devastating head injuries and was pronounced dead at the scene. His friends had to be treated for shock in the aftermath, while local authorities launched an investigation into the incident, which the state prosecutor viewed as a case of involuntary manslaughter. Thanks for watching. Would you dive from a 10 foot tall platform into a pool filled to the brim with gold coins if you could keep as many of them as you could carry in the aftermath? Let us know in the comments section below.